I'll be back, Boko. We'll see about that. We'll see. We'll see if Boko forgives you for what you have done to him as well. You ditched him on the planet. We're like, nope, sorry. We need to go to another planet. It needs me. And there we go. Off into space. Which somehow we can live through. But it looks like we are going to make it to a new world after all. Hopefully. There we go. <laughs> I was about to say, it froze on me for a little bit too long there, but... Uh, yeah. But we have landed somewhere that looks very similar to our world. It's not very alien here, to be honest with you. But it looks like we were on a small little island. That's probably not good. Probably not good at all. How are we going to get off the island? The island. Get up, purple hedgehog. This must be Gallup's world. Apparently, it is. And we're stranded. Hooray! That's exactly what interplanetary travelers want to do, is get stranded. Now, obviously, we have nowhere to go. We could try to go into the forest. We could try to go into... I believe that is supposed to be a swamp underneath us. But nothing will take us anywhere. Now, I'm actually trying to do something here, believe it or not. I'm actually trying to wait for... A, a message to pop up that actually will tell me what to do. And there it is. Want to rest a while in a tent? The tent? Apparently we only have the one. So there's your clue. You have nothing to do? Use a tent. Luckily I still have quite a few of those. I have nine. Uh, cottages are probably going to be more useful down the line, of course. So I will get more of those. I probably won't purchase any more tents. But that is how you move the plot forward. Using a tent. Very few games do that, as far as I know. The only one that comes to mind is Final Fantasy IX. Where they're just like, nope, you need to use one. Right now, there's something I must ask ye. When we was on the North Mountain, why did ye risk your life to help that dragon? Apparently, Bart's is, is lying down, not just permanently screaming standing up. Do you remember Mother? Aye, aye, certain things. Whenever I saw that dragon, it reminded me of her. What do you mean? What? Oh, monster! Hey, you can't kidnap my women! I worked hard to get those! Reina Ferris! Yes, they have names. And it's uh, a fight. <laughs> it's not necessarily boss time, but it is definitely a fight. We're up against the abductor here. Now, this is a fight that you can technically win. This is a fight that you can possibly win, however. I don't think I have ever done it. I will I will keep trying, though. Um, I'm not going to use any items, though. That is one thing that I will not do, uh, because this is a fight that you don't have to win. Uh, I should mention that if you do not have any tent on this island, you can fight a an enemy by the name of Pow, and every time you fight him, uh, he will drop a tent, so... You can rack up on tents if you need it, but like I said, cottages are going to be much more useful down the line. And I won! Wow! I lucked out with the old, apparently. Yes, you get one ability point! So we have won! Hooray! We're not going to get abducted! Yeah, I don't think that changes the plot at all, to be honest with you. Oh, we got an ether. <laughs> I will take it! This is all bonus. Yeah, you're not supposed to win. What's in the chest? Gas! My body's numbing. And down we go. So that's the plot device, it, should you happen to win the fight. That was really easy. A lot easier than I had expected. I don't think I've won that before. That is strange for me. But we did win, and we 
well, we lost in the long term anyway. This is that's you know this is a plot device. They should have made them harder if they didn't want me to beat them though. Now where are we? Apparently he's weak to old. Who would have thought? Yeah, <laughs> welcome to my castle. Oh crap! X death. Lord X death. Gallif and the others have made it to the big bridge. I see. Prepare the giant mirror. Yes, sir! The giant mirror? And now you're all going to help me with your evil mirror plan! What the hell is that? It's not that big. Look, Bart! Our reflections up in the sky. Oh, they're sending out a bat signal! Look, Grandpa! Barts, Reyna, Ferris. And there is our image up in the sky. He can clearly see that we are there. And there's X Death. X Death. I'm trying to work on making him sound very, very evil, but it's hard when his first name is X, like he used to be Death, but now he's moved on to something else. Back. Caliph, or they will die. Stop! All of you, back! Yes, we cannot save the world, because three people are in danger! What happened that we don't negotiate with terrorists? Gilgamesh! Damn it, Gilgamesh! Sir, watch them. See that they don't move. x -death, you. Oh crap! That was quite a spell! Curses! Krill, I'm going to borrow your dragon. I've got to help them. Release the dragon! Yes, sir! Nice! Just runs right onto the dragon! Release the dragon! Doesn't have quite the same effect. But this world is different looking, I must say. And that was a giant ass castle! With a convenient dragon docking bay. Now go back to Krill. I believe in you, Galif. So this is it. He also treasure hunts. Nice. And we found the crystal shards. Hang on, Bart's Raina, and Ferris. So now we can use the job abilities. Let me set Galif up here. Okay, I have set up Galif the way that I need him to be set up right now, which is as a monk, pretty much, because I only have my second tier weapons with me. So, we are going to leave him as unarmed, and hopefully he'll do more damage that way. I have also given him the ability of white magic, because he is by himself, as you can see, so he's going to need to heal himself from time to time. In fact, he needs to heal himself right now, because changing him over to the monk has made it so he does not have full HP anymore. Luckily for me, there is a safe point here, and even luckier for me, there are health recovery springs right up here. Very nice. And I used the right one twice for whatever reason. Let's head back out of here and see if I can't do anything in here. Locked from the inside. No way down there, even though it looks like there should be. So let's just head down here. Down to the basement. How, how you doing? Are those goblins? Monsters? You want to talk? No, I don't want to talk, apparently. Nobody wants to get close enough so I can interrogate what the hell you guys are. That would be nice for me. And we finally do get into a fight. There are random encounters here. I was about to say. And we're up against a shell there. But we got the first strike. Go ahead and punch him in the face double time. God, monk. Monk is awesome in this game. I should probably use it more, to be honest with you. But 
I don't know. It feels... I don't know, kind of cheap, I guess. No, but it, sh it really isn't. I mean, you really are very good with it. I'm always surprised how, how well that turns out. Who's there? And it's kind of boss time once again. This one's a little tricky. This is Gilgamesh. Hiya! This is an ancient warrior. Actually, I believe it. he's considered... Gilgamesh is considered the hero of the oldest book known to man, which is the Epic of Gilgamesh. Holy crap, this is why you need, well, at least healing items. But I gave Gareth white magic, which will help him out in the long term. Yeah, go ahead and hit me again with a critical. Hopefully that decreases your chances of getting criticals later down the line. He's not quite back up to full health, but he is doing... Fine! Punch! 168 critical did like barely anything more than that. Uh, this... Oh, he countered! Nicely done, Galif! I was wondering, like, why are you attacking again? Ridiculous! You're lucky. I'm letting you off easy. Don't you forget it. And there goes Gilgamesh. He ran off, but still, that counts as a victory. You don't, you don't get anything for it, though. But damn it, it counts for something. Now, I am not concerned about the ability points that we might be wasting on Monk on Gallop at this point. That's just not a concern for me. Wait, I'll have this open in a second. Gallop is indeed pretty damn awesome. Gallop. Thank you, Gallop. I'm glad we could see you again. I never thought I'd see you all here. And our party is back the way that it should be. We're fully together again. But now I need to switch things around. And now that our party is the way that it should be, which for the record is Sorcerer, Samurai, White Mage, Blue Mage, we are ready to move on yet again. Yes, now I feel complete. In a way that I have not felt in quite some time. Do we have any more new enemies, or is it just going to be the one bear again? That guy was easy as hell. No, we do have new enemies. We have tarantulas. Are these guys still going to be easy as hell? Apparently they are. Let's go ahead and continue to fight them. Down goes the other one. Can I even kill them with Ferris? Uh, Gal, if you need to smack yourself upside the head because of what Gilgamesh did to you. Did not bother healing him. I, probably th I think I need to heal uh, Ferris as well. But unfortunately, Ferris was not able to kill the tarantulas. Hopefully, Reyna is able to finish this last one off. Down it goes. Tarantulas are easy. What do you want me to say? I ain't scared of no big-ass spiders. 924 gil, 88 experience, and 1 ability point. Yeah, for the record, I wasted 1 ability point with Galif and made it a ton easier for me to beat him. Can you imagine me trying to do it with just summons or something like that? Let's take 4 tonics. Holy crap. That will help out in the long run. Uh, hopefully. Probably be like, I'll probably have like 99 of them at the end of the game now that I've said it, though. Let's just head on out of here. Are there any more new enemies? I think that is it. Yeah, not... Well, this guy dies in one hit, so I might as well keep him in. Okay, two hits. Whatever. Down he goes. That guy is easy as hell. 334 gil, 22 experience, 1 ability point because I didn't go over it last time. But still, you know what I mean? That guy is easy. No problem whatsoever. And what can I get from him? A potion. Definitely better than the tonics that I got because I can use those in battle for more. I always want to use tonics outside of battle at this point. Hoops. Better not let them see me. Hit, 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 hit. Nope, we're sneaky. Sneaky as all hell. Apparently the guards are in there. Whatever, we're, we're just getting out of here. Through this entrance here. No, down out here. What, that's the main entrance, really? I wanted to go take on X-Death now. Uh, so we need to head back to the west where Galif had saved us from. There is the bridge. Let's head for it. 